Join me as we make some beautiful smelling lilac lotion. Hello, I am Katie, the Crafty Vlog Stalker. If you're new to my videos, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming craft tutorial videos. I've got most of the supplies we're going to use laid out on my table here, and I will link to these products either in the supply list of the blog post or in the description of this video. We've got a 10 ounce pump bottle, some lilac fragrance oil, bergamot essential oil, and then I created this printable of labels that I printed on sticker paper. And I've got this really cool iridescent laminate sheet that I am going to use to put over the labels to make sure that they are lotion proof. Here I've got my lotion. And yes, this is a very big bottle. It is one gallon. It will make about 12 10 ounce containers of my lotion. I plan on making this as gifts, so that's why I purchased the big bottle, the big gallon bottle, but you don't have to do that. You can purchase this in smaller quantities. And then I also have a glass mixing bowl, a spatula, and a funnel. We're going to start by measuring out our 10 ounces of lotion. So I'm gonna put it on my scale and even that out to zero after I have my bowl on it. Now, if you don't have a scale, that's okay. You can just kind of guesstimate how much you'll need. Now, this lotion is pretty thick. So I'm gonna squeeze it out and watch our measuring there. Okay, that's about 10. Let's take a little bit out. I would rather be a little bit under than a little bit over. Okay, we're at 9.6, so that's pretty good. Next, we're going to bring in our lilac fragrance oil and our bergamot, and we're gonna add our essential oil. Now, how much we want to add, I've got it broken down per ounce, just in case you aren't making 10 ounces like I am. Per ounce of lotion, you want to add five drops of lilac and three drops of bergamot. So since we're doing 10 ounces, that means we need 50 drops of lilac and 30 drops of bergamot. And we're just gonna add that directly into our bowl. So I'm starting with the lilac and we're gonna count 50. One, two, three, four, five, six, 48, 49, and 50. And then we're gonna add 30 drops of our bergamot. One, two, three, four, five, eight, to nine, thirty. 30. Okay. Now we're gonna take our spatula and just stir it up. Mm, it smells so good. And you just wanna stir until it is well combined. You don't want to be able to see the oil. Now, if you don't want such a strong smelling lotion, you can also um, decrease that a little bit. I have it to where you can smell it really well and you can smell it if you put it on, you know, your hands and you put it up to your face, but it's not like overpowering to the people around you. So I don't like it when I can smell other people's fragrances from feet away because what if they don't like that fragrance? All right, so that looks good and mixed. I'm gonna take the topper off my bottle and it's kind of a big funnel, but it's what I've got. So it will work. And we're just going to spoon that right into the funnel and shake it down. Now to get the last little bit in there, cause it's not quite full, I'm gonna use the spoon because the length of my, um, my funnel is too long. So no more is coming out cause it's reached the, the top of the lotion. So we're just gonna add a little bit at a time with the spoon and just bang it in still. I'm gonna clean off that top with a paper towel. Mmm, I love how it smells. Screw on our topper. All right, so there's our lotion, and now let's add our label. Now, I'm gonna cut my labels with a paper trimmer, but you could also do this with a pair of scissors. 
And then I'm going to cut rectangles of this adhesive laminate sheet that are slightly larger than my labels. So I'm going to cut them to be three inches by one and five eighths inches. Before we add the label, I'm going to go over the bottle with some isopropyl alcohol. That will help remove any oil residue from getting the lotion in the bottle because we want that label to stick. Using a weeding tool, I'm going to remove that backing paper from my iridescent laminate sheet. And I am not going to take off the backing off of my label sticker yet. I'm going to center that as best I can on the adhesive iridescent sheet. And doesn't that look so cool? And now I can take off the backer to the sticker sheet. And there is our cool label. So I've already peeled off the sticker off the back. And we're just going to roll that label on. And there is our Lilac Lane Lotion ready to gift. Isn't it so cute? If you'd like more fun craft tutorials, make sure to visit thecraftyblogstalker.com. Thanks everybody. Bye and happy crafting.